mukbang with I'm and Lee. We are the Munch Bunch UK. Lee, what do we have on the menu today? Hey Mo, you have come up with something amazing. I'm sure you just well, invented not this. Me personally. Well, you made it. I didn't. So you've come up with it. It All is. Right. You let me tell me what it is. I'm showing. Um, spaghetti carbonara, guys. Um, with Chicken carbonara, but with addition chicken. of spam. And bacon bits. And green spring onions. And onions. But mine don't have that. Mine's a less adventurous. She's got a bit of sweet corn on top. So to basically, some what I did with like my my mum's and tears, fried some onions, fried some chicken, garlic powder, um, bacon bits, carbonara, ham, that sauce, things like that. Check out the video at the end of this video. It's right. at the beginning, not at the end. You want me to put it at the beginning? Yeah, it's at the beginning. Oh, you've already seen it then, guys, obviously. <laughs> Here to the beginning, just a little snippet on how I right, tried to made it up. Some garlic bread here, guys. I'm gonna pop that down there for you all. Um, oh, by the way, guys, check out the description box below the video for details on Instagram or other YouTube channel, which might be changing addresses. Uh, it's moving out <laughs> and uh, how to support the channel and all the other stuff that comes along with that. Mm. And putting films on right before we start, guys. Today, what do you want to talk about, Emma? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to switch the channel because that will just start blasting out. Okay. Bear with. Today, guys. I put the BBC News at six on. <laughs> Today, we yeah. want to talk about certain topics. Certain topic. We have had. So let's address this first. We've had viewer topics. Two of them sent in. And we're we, going to discuss them. We ain't got time today, eh? We're going to be doing them in <laughs> Sunday's video. And we've got half an hour for this video. We can I'll discuss it, definitely. We're not going to wrap it on. We're going to discuss right, it. Right, straight into our topic anyway, guys. First of all, B Loves, who we all know is like one of the superstar DJ mukbangers in the world. <laughs> and Cameo. Hey, Mo, tell them what Cameo is. So, you all probably don't need me to say, but Cameo is like where... You pay the celebrity, actor, influencer so much money to sort of say happy birthday, hope you're right, my Merry Christmas, happy Mother's Day, blah, blah, blah. Mm. So it can range from like £20 stroke dollars to two, three hundred, four, up and up and up. You can, the scales are, you know, crazy. Um, and B Love is charging £100 dollars. to, yeah, dollars to do like a cameo. But everyone's sort of gunned for us. You're like, really getting a load of aggravation but then it turns out she actually puts a heck of a lot of effort in so she writes down a lot of stuff she checks out your video she gives you tips on how to enhance your channel she shouts you out for free she also like you know promotes your channel things like that and i've actually looked into all this like about like the celebrity cameos they literally say like happy birthday happy you're okay see you later bye and i was like I think it's a little bit harsh how she basically got gun for. I really do. I think she's, she Big does time. a fantastic job. Well. I really do. We're not mates with B-Love. We ain't spoke to her. But I have watched b from the beginning. Yeah, you watch her videos. I'm saying so. Mm. It's a business at the end of the day. Um, yeah. If, say you, uh, Joe Bloggs at home, is sitting there now... And she's charging hundred dollars. Okay, so I watched a video yesterday that her and her son did, Darius, Darius. and he's like really angry about this because obviously he's sitting there watching his mum get so much hassle. Yeah, he's his mum at the end of the day. Um, she said she gets like obviously you all know with sponsorships where maybe a big YouTuber will say go and check out Audible maybe or Amazon Audible or whoever they get paid for doing that. Yeah. And she said on her video, didn't she, that she gets paid like several thousands. She wasn't glowing. She was saying, I can get several thousands for... 45 four... seconds. Yeah, see, she only has to talk about it for 45 seconds at the beginning of a video. And she'll get several thousands. She charges $100 for 10 minute video that she'll send out to the person who pays her and tell that she'll check out the I mean, what she'd do for us if we chose to do it. Look at our videos, a few of them. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I couldn't breathe. Yeah, if you go and check out her cameo like thing, cameo.com, I think you, you can see like what she's done, and I just think like it brings us on to certain points about B Love that I think need to be addressed in the we'll respect that. Get to that in a minute. No, what about B Love? Well, no, so I can't talk about the cameo. That's thing. what I'm on about. Like, oh, sorry. she's made such an effort in the mukbang community, <laughs> like. If it wasn't for B Love, look at all the the seafood boils that shit like the 
it's like she said, like the service she provides with the sauce mix. I think people can be a bit like slightly over the top when it comes to what's right and what's wrong. It's very easy to get jealous of people. And these are the same people. I mean, I can only go on what her son and what Beale have said. Mm. But don't take my word for it. As I was saying anyway, what her son was saying was about how much time and effort she puts in on the channel. On, uh, on the cameo, rather. Sorry, guys, I have stopped coughing now, I promise. And she's getting all this hate over it because she charges for the, for the thing. At the end of the day, she's got two and a half million subscribers on her YouTube. For me and I, I mean, we are at 1,100 just short. I might be at 1,100 now by the time you see this. I don't know. Do you realise how many videos we'd have to do <laughs> to get seen by 2.5 million people? We I mean, we get maybe two, 3,000 views on a good video at the minute. I don't even know what the maths are there. But just to think of that, 2.5 million views to our 3,000 views. And it's going to cost you $100, or which is about £90 pound English money, about £94, pound, give or take. And if just, out of them 2.5 million viewers, if just 1% of them 2.5 million come over, you're looking at, what, 2,500 subs? I just think, you know, at the end of the day, she puts in a heck of a lot of effort. Like, have you I mean, yeah, she's earning a lot of money, but have you seen the, the amount of effort she puts in? I don't think she's really good. Who's saying they, these people have to pay for it? They choose to. Yeah. You don't have to. But at the end of the day, she is providing a service. Uh, it sounds stupid, but do you honestly believe, do you think these people are cussing her? Like, it costs money for equipment. I mean, I am just saying this, we've spent a fair whack on mm. lights now. We're not even nowhere near close to the professionalism that I want to get to. Like, it costs a lot of money for the food, extra food. It costs a lot of money just to, you know, to the, to the, in the, what is he? What? Well. Like, the level she's at, it costs money anyway. You know, it's travels here then there to do collaboration to people. For everybody's benefit who's watching at the end of the day. But the, what the, she goes mm. all out to help people on Cameo. If you're a young footballer, that's all I think I'm to because I'm a football fan. If you're a, or a soccer fan, if you're American, if you're a young soccer player, about 15, 16, and the world's best players are Messi and Ronaldo, and you want a coaching session with them, do you think that's ever going to happen? Unless you, like, you win a really good prize or something like that, it's not going to happen. But for like an average footballer to go and train with somebody who's like a much lower level than them, they're going to charge you a hell of a lot of money. Now, us as mukbangers, if we want some input from somebody who's like at the top of the tree, which is B-Love, and she's willing to sit there for 10 minutes and give us some feedback, Lee, I'm, you're doing this wrong, mate, or love. Just change this, change that, do this, do that. And it might actually help you, because she's been there from the start. She's been where we are. The thing is, there's no difference to like a financial advisor, a PA, things like that, corporate, you know, like... Things that I've been involved in and stuff like that. You pay for services. It's as simple as that. Yeah, people get the Nick, back up. Hang on. Nick, let's face facts. Fair play to him. Everybody's like, oh. But he is earning a heck of a lot. He does only fans. Obviously, let's go down that uh -huh. But he does cameos. What's the difference? I don't have to do it. Oh, well. And if you can make money from doing something that you're good at, like she's got a sauce and stuff and what she charges for the... Um, Appear, what are they call like cameo appearances basically, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, where she'll do, um, does she do them anymore? Yeah, not the cameo, you yeah, know, uh, videos with people, what collaborations, yeah. yeah, but you can't at the moment, can't you? Mm. Not, you know what everyone's saying, like, oh no, she ain't doing the collaboration, she's doing the cameos, but when did she have time? And let's face facts, I don't quite understand this, and I, you know, me guys, by now, I say it exactly the way it is. <coughs> You're off again. If you see the editing of this, I keep coughing. I really do apologise. But if you if you can make money, why not? I don't understand that. Like, if you can make money and you're doing it in a legal, legitimate way, <clears throat> who doesn't want to <clears throat> not make money? Who doesn't want to not provide their family with the best that they can? And if you can do it, why not? Well, you like makeup, don't you? So you're like, who is it? Like that James Charles is one of them, is he? Well, not really him, but I like Jacqueline Hill, things like that. And look, let's take the Beckhams as, as an example. They're, they're, I think they're like nearly billionaires. I'm sorry, so by now. Right? But they still provide like aftershave and things like that, which is a service, it's a product. 
You are going to buy that product, aren't you? Like, I've got the Morphe palettes, the Jacqueline Lille palettes. I'd pay a stupid amount of money for brands like Illa Mask and Makeup, things like that. If they were to get in touch with you and say, look, I'm, I'll give you some tips over the internet, you're going to have to pay for that, aren't you? Yeah, it's like concerts. Now, we all know Michael Bolton is, I'm presuming... Um, he charges a certain amount of money to do a meet and greet. I think it's like five hundred pounds. Things like that. It's just the same thing. You pay <clears throat> in football stadiums. You pay for um, a season ticket. You pay for certain privileges. You pay for one of them boxes at West Ham if you mm. want one. We all provide a service in our proper jobs in our private life different things that's the facts even when it comes down to going into a shop buying a bar of soap johnson and johnson are providing a soap for you you're going to go and buy it so at the end of the day she's just making money because obviously that's what she, she commits it's not as though she's getting it off her back off her backside for nothing she's putting the time and effort time and effort in isn't she mm, i'm full agreement i just think people love to hate mm. it's the same with anything you were just slightly successful. I don't know, like people who are successful, like B loves he's at Mukbang, like Nick is at Mukbang. When he was on his way to obviously building the figure he has now, like he's quite overweight now. And that's his that's his gimmick. Well I reached three hundred pounds or whatever on this video. On his way there, everyone, because I ain't watched him since day one when he was back in Columbia, weren't it? I watched him when he was all that. No, like... what, right back at the beginning though, when he was wasn't really doing mukbangs or whatever it was. Mm. -hmm. I was watching him for years, and people have followed him since then, and now he's got to like this part where, okay, his head might be a bit big, his ego might be a bit big, and he's doing like this weight gain thing, which, okay, we don't all agree with, but now everyone slags him off. I mean, fair enough, if you're new to him, you're like, mate, what the hell are you doing? But if you're there from the beginning, then you just turn on the bloke, or on anyone who's successful, then he's a bit two-faced, isn't it, really? Hang on, I'm trying this spam for the first time. Oh, yeah. Time. So, guys, we have spam. Yeah, for the first time, I am trying this. Mm, we're trying something different with spam in a couple of days. It's just pork. It's not nothing back with it. No, it's all right. I wasn't sure what to expect. It's like a soft gammon. Mm. i tell you what, guys. This is absolutely beautiful. Mm. You know, I do all the added extras, like the sprig onions and things like that on the top, but... <coughs> Lee just bangs on the sweet corn. It's really tasty, yeah. Really tasty sweet corn. No. <laughs> You're doing a good job this time, But, now for our soapbox. That's it, guys. That's all I'd say about Beale. Um, and if anyone's watching who thinks she's wrong for doing what she's doing, then um, to explain in the box why you think she's wrong. Because she isn't making anyone pay. She said on her video to her son, she's done 70 of them so far. And she has another 20 odd to do. She said, by the time I'm done, I'll be done about 94, but a few of them were birthday wishes for people. I mean, people who want, like, birthday wishes for their loved ones, like their, mm -hmm. their wives, or maybe the children. You know, young people watch our channel. Young people will definitely watch uh, Be Loves, obviously. And they'll say, oh, can you have a shout out and things like that? But if you could have a chance to speak to an actor, mm -hmm. people go to these premieres just to get a handshake. For some reason, an old video of Stefan Tasha's popped up today on our timeline. It was about B Love. It was like, the title was Exposing B Love. Yeah, but it was a contradiction. Yeah, I know that. I didn't know until I watched it now. You click on it, you think, oh, what's that all about? I get on really well. They said that. They got in touch like a year ago for the first time via email. She called them up the next day and they was on there for ages on the phone. Uh, they said there was no money tra uh, change hands. It was just her ringing up to help them out. And obviously she's got bigger, they've got bigger. And why would you do something for free? If you can make money on doing it, logic. And she said she's done shout outs for free for years, for, you know, just general people. But this isn't a shout out. This is Cameo and it's an actual service that you're being paid to do. Yeah, you're making that choice. Oh, um, well, that brings me on to, and this is only a small point. Uh, I watch all different kinds of mukbangers. I watch all different kinds of people. I don't care whether you're fat, thin, short, height, tall, rather, black, white, pink, purple. I ain't interested in what you are, whether you're trans, gay, whatever you are. Oh, it doesn't bother me. And that brings me, brings me on to Fabio Mattison. She is a mukbanger, and she had like she. I went back and watched a video, and it's like oh, I've read out like hate comments, and some of the things. 
Right, people actually go onto these channels to specifically say nasty, hurtful things. And it's like, I think, well, what is what is the point? Do you live that much of an isolated, sad little life that you have to go onto somebody's channel to be uh, an absolute moron? Like, we've had comments about me being fat, about, oh, hey, when fat Andy. people do mukbangs, pigs, this is that. I was like, Where's the green stuff? I, I can't see no green on your plate or whatever. Well, hang on. How much green do you want, love? Just check it. Well, do have veg with a McDonald's, for instance, or the Chinese? Go back and check a previous video and you'll see I'm there with the green stuff. She no. loves her cabbage patches. I'm not interested. I don't, I really, listen, I really don't care. And this is one boy and I was thinking, he was like, oh, I hate you when fat people try to do mukbangs. And I was thinking, well, I hate you when little boys try to be men. You know, it's quite simple. And I just think to myself, like, how pathetic and how sad can you get? If that is your life, is that what you consist of? Are you dragged up? No, you make the choices to, to say to other people and then people wonder why celebrities commit suicide because they have so many goddamn influences from the public and nasty people that your mind can be consumed by what other people think. And that's why, like, if anybody out there, any young people or old people in the workplace where he's having bad things happen, reach out because you don't want to go through that on your own. Anyway, forgetting that. No, Back to Fabian Madison now. She's a really, really brilliant mukbanger, and I think like different things, her cooking skills, different things like that. The way she talks about her life, she just vlogs. It's like, I really, really, really love her. Go and check her out, and she's got like twelve thousand and odd subscribers in the UK, and and it's different, and it's really cool. And I think yeah, you know anything that's a little bit different to it. So she has lip filler. I personally wouldn't have lip filler, but if my lips were smaller than what they are, I would. I don't know, I'll talk, if, if I get to the point where these are, oh, oh, maybe, whatever. It's just like dyeing your hair. But people always have to jump on something, don't they? Mm. If you're too skinny, oh my God, she's so skinny. Oh, she's so fat. you got a big forehead. Oh, you got a big nose. She needs a nose job. You need this, you need a boob job. You're flat chested, your arse is too small. So I'll shove things in it now. And I just think, and that's just women. Men can, oh, you're ginger, oh, you wear glasses, oh, you're fat, you're thin, you've got a beard, look at your beer belly, look at you look at this, look at that, you're too small for a man, how can a woman taller be with a short man? And he goes on and on and on. Took a breath, I. Yeah. You're on no, one, no, you? stop. I'm just saying that this is really important that you need to realise, think before you speak. It doesn't matter whether you're a cruel person and you're sitting there thinking, yeah, I'm going to make somebody, just because it's such as B-Love, I'm going to say something so negative that is still a person that person still has to go to bed at night and think oh my gosh what's been said about me and i just think it's a good thing to think about how it could affect other people before we all judge we all have things in our heads but just think about what we say beforehand in my opinion yep yeah, i fully agree Imo. how's your spam um, i love spam i think it's nice i like that Spam's right. I'm really, really like spam. It's just whenever I heard of it, cause when I was younger, I never, mm. I've never tried spam till today. <coughs> it's just one of the things, oh, I've been spam sandwiches. It just didn't sound appealing to me. Uh, neither did the appearance of it. But all what you're saying now, I mean, everyone does love just to go out and hate people. Spread hate. Oh, and weird. you will not get the chance to do it on here, guys. No one at all. No matter if you're like one of our actual subscribers, you know, in... Hello, I forget who it was because the comments have been deleted, but I um, was having a go at somebody the other day on our comments and I just said, okay, let's just knock it there. There's enough bad stuff going on in the world right now. But anyone who comes on here and starts spreading, talking crap about us and being nasty, you just get blocked straight away. Yeah, and I know there's people out there who like leave all the comments. Oh, well, I don't want this channel to be negative in any way because at the end of the day, this is our channel and I don't care what anybody says. I want people to be happy on it. I want people to go into the comments section and be able to say what they want in a nice way. Like, if there's nasty people, then it's not going to happen. It isn't going to happen. And that's up to me and Lee. At the end of the day, we know who our supporters are. I'm not interested who comes to me. I ain't, I've got thick skin, literally. And what? The joke is, though. But, go on. Sorry, the joke is that the time it takes somebody to type out an offensive message or comment on here, it takes us a fraction of that time to Double put lock, yeah. block. And that's it. There's another bloke I watch who do, he doesn't do mukbangs. He does YouTube. He has, he's very successful. And I've watched him for years from America. And anyone does his head in. And this is the slightest thing. I mean, I asked him a comment once. Just a normal question, which he didn't like. And he blocked me. He's unblocked me now. But they really? call it... 
Yeah, I've gone to it later on, but it's, he calls it benching. He says you're benched because, like <laughs> in America, like they get put on the bench if they're done wrong. So if you do wrong on here, you get benched. This is our place of positivity and happiness. Would you take it from your neighbours? <laughs> oh, you know me, guys, by now. I will only spread anger in a positive way. Is in defence of somebody, standing up for somebody. Listen, the one, oh, yeah, I'm overweight, so what? But I'll tell you the one thing I've never had. I've never been bullied for it out there. Mm. One thing I have had, and I'll be honest with you, I'll tell you a couple of things I have had said to me about my weight. Oh my God, you're really stunning as a fat person in, in such a words, but you'd look absolutely stunning, miraculously beautiful if you were thin. And you know what? You hold your weight really, really well. You look good in clothes. You look really beautiful. Like your makeup's fantastic. That's fair. I mean, people who in my life have gone, if you look this good now, I mean, not now, you know, guys, when I've been done up and that, imagine how you'd look if you was really thin. I couldn't give a note, mate. Listen, let me finish. I couldn't care less. I'm stopping you. you. I'm just saying... And this is a big, big thing. Bullying, nastiness, is disgusting. It is a bad thing. And I'll tell you something now. Any bullies that come to this channel, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Mm. The ones that are blocked, you are blocked for a reason. This, is to me, is like... This is going to sound really stupid, and I don't want to come across as a therapist. But this is the place for me where I think, hopefully, if you guys are in a bad position and you haven't got no safety net, this could be a safety net. If somebody messaged me and said, I am man or woman... Oh, child, you know what I mean? I, I'm in trouble. I need help. Can you make a call for to a family member for me? I'd do it. This, to me, is I want to use this as a safety net platform for anybody who just needs escapism, not for crap, not for bullies. Have I said that yeah, right, Lee? That's very well put, man. We've helped loads of people in the past. Pe not dramatically, but if we can help people, we have to. We're moving on from that now. That We've got some questions. I'm thinking then, because you've not really had much chance to eat. I'm not, I'm, look, I'm, I'm eating, you can do the questions and I'll just answer. No, I'm thinking, like, each video, because we have a view topic each video, We have, I put it out on Instagram twice now, we've only had two questions, what are you playing at? Well, we can answer them too now, and because you've been eating away. Well, yeah, so you eat yours. Yeah, I'm eating, but get okay. the questions so, Okay, so the, the two, I know what they are. One. You need to know who they actually shut now. Oh, okay, I'm about. So one of them... Um, Once I've... you look up, let me just say, I am sorry for getting on my sock box. If you think that like, I'm doing it for the wrong reasons, I'm not. I'm trying to help people. Honestly, I really, really am because I've had things about my daughter being mixed raced. Oh, she's black, this, she's black. I'll tell you now, I couldn't care less what you are. Anything said against anybody unlawfully and, un 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 and in a disgusting way, I will defend you. Whether you are a stranger down the street, if I can see something bad being done or said against that, I will help. I will do whatever. And it's like I've said, oh, you know, the awful N-word. You know what word I'm on about when it comes to my daughter. Like, oh, you've got a daughter. Listen, I will. <laughs> I will get, no, shut up. Just shut up. I will get locked up for that. I tell you now. But the point is, just be nice to each other. Go on. I'm off me. I did say sorry, but I couldn't help myself. Jump went back on, on there, didn't you, Ryan? Got a little step ladder and climb back on your You've told me to be enthusiastic. <laughs> well, I am. Nice. Yeah, and you've done a good video. Right, guys. Anyone uh, who needs help will help you. So this is a very easy answer. Um, I don't know if this is a young person. Well, this is on our, one of our questions. Yes, animals, please. That was a tag name on Instagram. Do you like cats or dogs? Um, it's an easy answer. Dogs. Uh, so we I do think, like cats. Yeah, we love cats, but we are more of dog people. I'm not sure if that, or like I say, as a younger person, you maybe asked that. Have yeah. you noticed, guys, when you cook something, you don't want it after you've cooked it? I am eating, Lee, calm down. I'm on over. Oh. Shut up, hey, Mo. Right, we had, um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. all right, Bab. So I'm thinking that's someone from around here. Yeah, all right, Sounds Bab, am like, yeah. I think they've said in the past on Instagram that they're from uh, Wolverhampton, or the Midlands at least. And they said, uh, these are like three questions. I'm going oh. to cover one of them. And that is... Cover all of them! One's hobbies. Well, no, we'll cover all of them. That's that. Bloody hell, we're on a timer here, guys. It's not the bloody timer. Carry on. Right, hobbies. Me? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, short and sweet. Okay, me. Right. Let me answer. I you just did. No, as in... I love shopping. I love makeup. I love looking good, taking... You know, like, oh, look, looking, doing your hair and all that. But the trouble is, 
I haven't got any hobbies, have I, as such. So no. I can't read. I can read when I'm on about degrees. I can't... Um, Get into stuff. No, series is... It stresses me out. I like meditation. Actually, I love meditation. Michael Seely, if you actually want someone to watch. Okay. Me? I love football. I haven't watched no. it in about three months. He loves it. He worships it. Mm. Yeah, I do like to read. I read quite often. You do. Like every day. Like films as well. Yeah, I love films. Um, not really like a, a an outdoorsy type. Who? Us two. You know, we don't go hiking and stuff or anything like that. Or <coughs> bike rides. But we do um, like to be in the back garden and get drunk. If that counts as mm-hmm. outdoorsy. Right. Not travelling. Mm. At the minute, the most travel we do is to Tesco. That's about it. But we do like to travel. Um, okay. What are your hobbies? Answer that question yourself, babe. Yeah. What All do right. you like to do? All, All right, right babe. babe. Answer that question for us. Um, What's the second question? Page. Uh, trust in a relationship and cheating. I'm going to put that into the same thing. Is that um, the same lady? Yeah, it's that All right, babe. Oh, man. Look that. Okay, well, I don't know because the, the picture's a bit fuzzy, like there's no clear picture. So I was putting trust in a relationship and cheating. So let's say, can you have trust in a relationship after cheating? So combine the two. If there's been somebody cheating in the relationship, can you still have trust in there? I think <clears throat> it depends on your past. If like what what's made your past sort of makes your future in a way. In the respect that if you've got burnt a few times, insecurities happen. Things happen in life. But I think you can rebuild trust. Because sometimes, unfortunately, you have to go through the bad to get to the good. It doesn't matter what it is, whether another in circumstance, you're living in a house and you've been burgled. The next night, you're going to feel worried, aren't you? And then as time progresses, you're going to feel secure again through certain adjustments to your house, different locks, maybe different things. In a relationship, if something bad happens you got two choices. You either have to work on it and adjust things till things become better, or you walk away. Mm. So, yeah, I think you can rebuild trust, but it's a different kind of trust. I think you need to be in the right kind of relationship and know that you both want the same thing. Mm-hmm. If there has been, like, trust issues... And if you don't, then walk away. And what, a story I've read up, like, three or four days ago. So I'm reading this footballer's book. He used to be a footballer, he anymore. Uh, and he retired at a young age. And he was a bit of a player. Not just a footballer, but, like, a bit of a player with the ladies. And he met this woman on holiday, and she was on a Hindu, and it was her Hindu. So he slept with this woman on her Hindu abroad, like in Portugal or somewhere like that. Mm. He then went back to Manchester. She went back to S. No, somewhere in here. I can't remember where the hell she went to. And she started getting in touch with him somehow. I don't know how, but she did. And they said, "Look, I'm getting." She said, "I'm getting married in like five days or whatever." He said, "Okay, well, I'm off to Spain with my mates for a lad's holiday. Good, good luck in your marriage." He's in the hotel uh, the, on the, after a night out with his mate. Knock at the door. <laughs> it's the bloody woman. She's getting married in five sodding days. Yeah, the best bit. The phone keeps ringing at the hotel. Oh, no. The woman's husband knows he... Well, she's there with him. I don't know how. Don't ask me how this happened. Maybe he checked her phone or something. He knew she was there. The bloke, that she then says, Oh, I'm just going to ignore it. We're going to have a couple of days here together. Then I'll go back and I'll worry about what happens then. Three or four in the morning, knock at the door. The bloke is at the door. The lad is hiding on the balcony. He can't jump down because he'd die. Someone's knocking at the door. <laughs> Someone's ringing the bell. <laughs> so the, he escapes. Right? The bloke comes out onto the balcony. Well, you know, like when, you, when you're in school, and there's a table between two people and you want to get to that person on the other side of the table. You know if you go that way, they're going to go that way. It's a pain in the arse. Somehow the bloke doesn't, go, doesn't just throw the table out the way. Oh. My bad, that was our reminder to stop the video. Um, so the bloke doesn't just fling the table out the way. He runs around the table and the footballer goes the other way and escapes out the room half naked. And he goes to his other footballer mates. What happens in the end? In the end, they still got married. Despite the fact the woman has gone to another country <laughs> five days before her wedding and had an affair. For a second I think it's a little bit around. more than that. I think there's psychological issues there. We still don't mind, that's what I'm saying. I t- one question, and then we'll move on to the next question, because I want to do, I do want to answer, ask a few questions. Um, what do you believe the whole, um, on a hen and stag do, it's your last night of freedom? Does that give you a pass? I don't know. Well, I wouldn't ask, I'm with my dad and here watching TV. Point is, <laughs> I 
I think that's in our wife's time. I think these days, well, a lot of people do like joint things now, don't mm. they? No, something. Which ain't a bad thing. I think it's a stigma. Now, if you have a hen, you'll say, oh, go on, have a good old mm. snog. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> in the corner there with her and Barry and whatever. With Barry. Barry yeah, and Don't Janice. snog Barry. I think um, women these days, though, I, I, only from what I see on the TV, they're a lot worse than they used to be. Like it used to be the blokes a lot in the past. <laughs> but now the women take full advantage of it, I think. But I won't. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. It's only in carbonara sauce that we have. Advantage of what? I won't take advantage of it. I didn't believe you'd go on this No. Time. What do women take advantage of? Uh, getting laid one last time. And you want to. Uh, where's your hey. evidence for this? Because women these days are a lot more crackers. You know, like on nights out, I've seen women on nights out, they can go bloody nuts. You're groups of women. I mean, we've seen groups of women on nights out. I've not... seen groups of men as well. I've seen groups of men as well, I'm obviously. But I'm saying is, women in their 70s and 80s were quite conservative and reserved, like my mum and stuff, and your mum. Your mum might reserved. Well, not now she is, she used to be. I will say that. His mum was rolling around in a shopping trolley on her stag, he was pissed as a fart. Yeah, she was. On her head night, sorry. <laughs> On her shopping trolley. She was in a shopping trolley on her head. <laughs> no. Yeah, my mum, my mum's my dad, and my dad's my mum, and my uncle's my aunt, and so on and so on. Next question, quick clip. Well, it's the last question, but this one I said we'll do this one uh, on Sundays. No, because, because you haven't got one. Just go on. on. Embarrassing stories. Mm. See, I told you. Because now you're gonna sit I've there got thinking. one, one right away. Much yours, do you know? Yeah. Oh. I was in year nine, and in my school, it was a super school, so it's a huge academy type thing. For superheroes. This is just one circumstance. I came out of the toilet on bright time, and the bell rang to go back to the class, and my, we got to wear skirts, and we, we wasn't allowed to wear trousers, and my skirt was tucked in my pants. In my tights, like... It's probably happened a few times since then. And luckily, my done. boyfriend at the time was like, mm, quick, quick, quick. And all the boys like, up behind us, grab, grab my bum. Well, mine ain't that short, guys. That's what I was going to leave mine until Sunday. Can I give so, you a small one? So basically, I went... I was 16, thinking I was 18 or 20, hanging around with older people. And I went to the pub when I should have been at work. And I told them I was at work. Because I was, I was staying up with my mate's mum. I'm going, out, I'm going to stay over there after work. Went to the pub with this lad and his missus. He's got absolutely like right. I only had like two pints at the pub. He was getting the drinks in, and then he said, "Oh, we're going to this like party with adults, as in like his mates and what." And they were all like twenty upwards, and I was there, the youngest person. I was like, "Oh Christ, I'm sixteen. I want to be like the adults. I want to get drunk." And this was in the days when I drank white cider, and it was acceptable to do so. So I took. I think somebody bought me a bottle from the shop on the way up there. So that's fine. Got through that. Got through it rather quickly. <laughs> and then I saw another one on the side. I was like, oh, oh, whatever. I was talking waffle because I was absolutely off my face. Can I buy this bottle off someone? I've got 42p. It's all like that. So I bought it off somebody anyways. Or maybe he just said no when I drank it right away. I love garlic bread. Sat there, got so drunk, guys. And this guy, he works in HMV, that whose birthday it was and whose house it was. And he had a stack of CDs, brand new ones he'd had for his birthday. On this table here. Oh, I got God. that drunk. I, I need to be sick, and I weren't gonna make it out the front door. I was like, uh oh, uh oh. I turned, <laughs> threw up all over his CD collection, all over his stereo. The party stopped mid party. There was no more music playing because I just knackered the sound system up. My mate had done a bunk with this girl he'd met, or who was was with him. I didn't know my way back to his house because I'd never. I can't do that. I'd never either. been to his house before. I'm oh, sorry, I did know where it was, but I didn't know the way back there. So I stumbled through the town centre, like, late at night, sick all day on me, found my way to this person's house. It was like a student house. So I got knocked on the door. Oh, it's Ryan there. Because his name was Ryan. And he didn't come to the door. This girl comes to the door. Oh, come on in. So, like, whatever. So, yeah, I kept on the settee. So I kept on the settee. Next morning, this girl comes down, older than me. I'm, like, 16. She's, like, 19, <laughs> 20. All right, then. Uh, do you live here? She said to me. I'm, like, No. What are you about? Oh, my head was banging. Oh, I don't live here. Who are you? Who are you? So I, I just moved in. Yes, it's student <laughs> digs. I, I, just, I let you in in the middle. I let you in in the night thinking you lived here. I was like, no. And she's like, do you want to stay for a bit? Because you're all in a fit state to go anyway. I was like, yeah. I think I stayed till about 10 o'clock in the morning. I woke up about 7. 
And she made me a drink. And beans on top. Is that what worry? No, no, I couldn't eat anything. Oh, I went to Sainsbury's and had me uh, a croissant. Dry croissant. Cro- croissant. Yeah, if we're French. Many more s- stories. Our next question. That's it. That was all there of them. Was, I thought there was another no, one. No, that was it with three questions. There was one off a lad as well. That was the lad I'm. He said right. funny stories or embarrassing stories. What was on the embarrassing one? If you've got any questions, guys, like, or you want answering or topic, viewer topics, we're going to try and cover one per video. Because I, I, we don't want to do too many, but I did put the thing out to it on Instagram twice, and we got three of them. I have noticed when I don't wear lipstick, my lips are really bloody red, and I hate that. I've noticed this is a rather good length video, so let's wrap it up. I can't eat now, man. Oh, wow. You've both left the spam. It's not a good sign, is it? It costs £2.50. Mm. But we are making spam something in a couple of days. I'm not going to give it away. You'll see it in a couple of days. And I, you might have guessed there is a bread I do actually really love. Mm. Yeah, I bread. love garlic bread. I'm not fussed about other bread, but I love garlic bread. Carry on. Take it away, Ernie. <laughs> That's a reference to Harry Potter. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Uh, okay, so remember to be kind, remember to be nice, comment, share, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't remiss, remiss, forget in our future videos. Please. Yep. And every name said plus, check out the description box as I said before for all links to everything we do, Insta, other YouTube channel, how to support the channel, and just awesomeness through and through. So we're done. Oh, I've got a really bad tan here. It's this lighting. Well, I could look as pale, but I'm not. But you just look really, really dark. Oh, no, not so much red, more of a tan. He's secretly been to the Costa del Sol and back. Yes, on a pigeon, because we can't fly, clearly. Right, guys, thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Laters. Bye.